we have been slacking on the weekend of life videos. So we're just going ahead and go ahead and just forget the past and move forward. This week is Pride Week, June 3rd, the beginning of the week. We had our Pride Festival and me, Maddie, out as a proud trans woman for the first time at Pride. It felt amazing. And yes, girl, more Pride videos. Oh my gosh. You're going to die now? Okay, not really. You guys can get over it. So here we are in the free mom hugs booth. Uh, we we helped a little bit there, but they had a lot of volunteers. So we, we really just kind of explored Pride. I'm glad they had a lot of volunteers. Here we are exploring P flag. We got some Pride flags from them. The kids were picking those up. Now here is a meow rescue. So that is a cat rescue, I believe. Um, some cute kittens, OMG. There is one of my sons. It was definitely a great time. And I apologize. You're going to be listening to me a lot because we're not using the audio from Pride because it's just too loud and I don't want to get any copyright strikes on our account. There are so many great vendors here at Pride. Um, it was an amazing time. They used to Big Billy. Um, we, we picked up some some bracelets and such. Well, I don't know what booth this was. Oh, it's the Ark. Yeah, it's Ark. Okay, there you go. Um, my kids sporting the pride flags. And before somebody makes a comment, yes, girl, they had the choice to go. We did not force our kids to be part of this. We actually have two queer kids and we support them 100%. You know, queer kids do exist. I didn't have that support when I was younger. I couldn't be myself. I had to be shamed and thought I had to pray away the way I was because that's just it. That's just how it is. I love this vendor here, okay? I, I got to give them a shout out because they have some of the coolest merchandise, in my opinion. So yeah, my wife's trying to ride her scooter and record. They had some cool pride earrings, some stickers. I think they stuck out the most to me while looking, but also at the same time, it was so busy there. So I don't think we got a chance to actually really look at each vendor. Maybe next year we will, uh, I'll grab a business card. Next year we will look. Um, let's move on from that, from this part of the video. So here is our son, Petey, waving the pride flag. Oh, he looks so cool. I forgot what you call those flower things. There's our son, Petey, as we go explore more of the booths. There's our son, Frankie, who is, who is one of our queer kids. And there's our son, Berto, who was also one of our queer kids. And they actually came out to us before I came out. We don't force our kids to, to be something that they're not. We force them to be happy and be who they are. That might get some reaction. But you know what? We love our kids. Say what you want about that. Moving forward from that, look at this pretty outfit this person has on. I'm sorry if you're upset that we um, took a video of you. This is Mark here. He is the vice president of the Pride Festival. He is also a deacon, I believe, at one of the affirming churches here. He is simply an amazing, caring human. Aw, oh, look at this cute puppy. Okay, this vendor had some amazing stuff too. More jewelry centered I guess I didn't really check this booth out I was somewhere else walking behind her but yeah so there's a bunch of amazing vendors I guess certain things stick out to me but come on look at those puppies you can't deny that that's just cuteness overload okay this booth had a spin wheel for prizes this was actually amazing Our, this was we had we had a lot of fun here I so you can see what they won but I mean Oh, you gotta spin again. Okay, that's awesome. Petey is spoiled. He's a little brat. And they're cheering him on, yes. So that was definitely a vibe there. Jump to a next vendor. This is Tumbleweird and I believe Tri-City Area Gaming in one booth. Tumbleweird is a local queer um, newspaper, that magazine thing that comes out every month. 
Well, I would say it's it's more pro, a more of a progressive newspaper. So I had to get myself a copy of that. I don't know what happened to that copy, but they're an amazing organization. Now this is a well, this is the same booth. This is a uh, like a gumball machine that has prizes, I believe in it. Um, the kids like that. The kids had loads of fun. They also had we didn't get video of it because we weren't over there in the same spot. They had an area with jumpy houses, basketball hoops, and things. It kept the kids very active. It was very, very family friendly, despite what some people may say about pride events. Pride events are about appreciating who you are in the queer community. It's about showing your pride. And it's not about sexuality and stuff because straight people in everyday world have it made because everything in this world is made for them. And anytime anything queer comes out, it's we're pushing the sexuality. We don't say that when we see movies about straight couples, straight romances. No, you know, we they, they try to they try to pervert gay love to a certain things. Yet straightness is all around us, has been celebrated and has it's just the norm. And that's why a lot of people have a hard time coming out. We're queer, we're here, get over it, honey. It was so cool to see the local library here. Now this is made Columbia Libraries. They serve every area except Richland where we live uh, because Richland has its own city library. But it's cool that we have these organizations representing at Pride. Okay, how cool is that? Okay, come on, babe. That you they can barely see it. But no, it was a performer doing aerobics. You've seen it a little bit. It was so cool. Now we're on to a puppy. That is cuteness overload. OMG. You can see Marilyn's tutu right there. OMG. All right. This is Andrew, our friend. Stage name Tatiana and her boy. OMG. He's just gorgeous. So here's some more spinning games. They won some prizes. We all spun the wheel there. Okay, this part was cool. They did glitter blessings on both of us. A stardust blessing. It was amazing. This is a universalist church, a very affirming church. There is Marilyn getting her a blessing. They read you paper, they give you the paper. Oh my gosh, it was an experience. And yes, it was. And then here is me getting mine. Yes, you got some video of me. Yeah, I do have a big belly. Okay, come on now. It was a great experience. We had fun at Pride. We're going to, I'm going to end this part of the Pride Weekend of Life. We will continue with other videos throughout this Pride Week. And yes, it was more Pride. People are going to throw a fit about it, but quite honestly, their opinion doesn't matter because this is our channel and it's about both of our journeys. It is Eminem's journey and it has always been that. Love you all. On to the next. Hi, lovelies. It is day yeah. 208. So the last video that you've seen right before this was Pride. We haven't had a chance to record us. We've been so busy. We've been out and about. We have been keeping our bodies moving still. Um, I had really wanted to okay, honey, it is up. record something when um, we were out this when I totally Thank forgot. Oh, there was a weigh-in video. So I weighed in 299 this week. I don't know how Marilyn give that update later. I forgot what she weighed in to. So, oh, it's dead. It's dead. Okay, well. That's okay. I'll just start walking. But it sucks because we don't have um, we don't have a space to put our stuff. No. Um, we can have, have the kids help hold stuff. Sorry. Um, she's gonna try to walk without a scooter actually. But you know what's nice about the Uptown? There's so many places to sit down. So she's gonna try to walk without a scooter. Um, I have my hands full here. Just to have him put my drink back in the car. Drink back in the car? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I can't do, say, I can't surface. sign language. I have a GoPro, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn the GoPro off. We got things situated. <laughs> She's gonna walk. I'm, I'm catching up to her. She's gonna walk and s just sit down. There's so many places right here to sit along the way. She doesn't really need the scooter. Um, so she can take a break when she needs to. 
she is right right there there's the kids um this is where all our walking started all our video started it was literally right here this was the very first video was walking along this very area of the uptown on our social media some of the videos that made us get all the attention that we did so we're on live right now while walking because people said they want more of that because it's interactive and we'll probably go live later too right mm -hmm. at home yeah we'll see yeah i want to do more makeup i had fun with makeup today <laughs> or you can monitor my live. In, I know, it's crazy. My mom, uh, she uh, found it on, uh, on a Facebook marketplace and she sent it to me. And I'm like, oh my God, that looks like my van. Yeah. And uh, I sent it to Maddie. Maddie's like, that looks like our van. And I'm like, I know. Okay, so one of the things I mentioned. So when we went there to test it out, it uh, was. So one of the things I mentioned in the video I started, we didn't do, we didn't film the week, we didn't film the weigh-ins. So I, I'm at 299, which is a couple pounds lost. Well, what did you weigh in again? 371. I, 371, okay. Yeah, so that's the weigh-in for the week. So I want to include it in this video. Um, so you guys have it. Because like some people like watching these longer form videos. And those are our kids. Oh, cool. What kind that you like? Nick's. The Nick's ice cream is good, yeah, the keto ice cream. Um, you love the Nick's keto ice cream. I like the peanut butter cup one. Oh, that's one of my favorites. I think that's so delicious, right? Okay. Oh, so delicious. Okay. I like indoor grill. It was cool, right? Yeah. And it also has little warmer trays. Yeah, it's the really warm cool. stuff. Um, oh, I guess we got three kids. And it has the warmer trays. So that's, that's convenient. I'm gonna have to mess around with it too to cook on. So, These then. pants used to be like super tight on me. And now they're falling off the booty. Hey, 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 I'll do them to three. Yeah, three. No. Okay. These are my other older ones. Yeah, but you, you have to wear three though. Yeah. I think two to three depending on the clothes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Because he's walking backwards. Why? Because he's filming, Goofy. It is day 209. We are going to volunteer at a music festival, so we'll have some clips from there. I, I want to be careful though, recording there. Although I don't think there's going to be any copyright music. We'll see. This will be posted on social media, unfortunately. We're limited to what we can post. But um, we're going to volunteer at a music fest today, it's Sunday. Tomorrow's a Sunday birthday party. friend wanted us to help to get wristbands for music festival so we can attend it outside of the voluntary kind of too as well we might my friend's going tomorrow and Sunday so I might meet up a little bit while he's there right here all right so this is us we're just kind of chilling back here right now we got some vendors setting up already and then other vendors are going to be here soon. And it's just going to be a good day. Huh? Huh, babe? Yes. It's going to be a good day. Um, um, this is how we're spending our day. Um, at a birthday party. Um, for anyway, our son anyway. and our nephew. Oh, anyway, anyway. It's your birthday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. How old are you? <gasps> Six. Yes, you are, huh? Yeah. So why we we can see it out of the box? Yeah, you can see out of the box. Yep. Yeah.
sister in law and my niece's kid. He wants to be like the normal guy. That's Maddie's brother, so he's the one in um, red. Yeah, the ones you guys call cute. Huh? The one that they call cute. Yeah, the one somebody called cute, yeah. Yeah, it's just like Chalk the Parcel, but he's a fellow player, yes. Yeah, Dusty was on the other one, yeah. I was doing it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
He's never gonna trust his aunt's gifts anymore. <laughs> He's never gonna trust his aunt's gifts no more. <laughs> it only happens when you turn 14. That's my ADHD can never, I know, huh? Hopefully it's not another harmonica. Skittles. <laughs> I hope he loves whatever it is, Pizza. I was too afraid to do it. Yeah, 1.2,000 no, viewers. He won't forget it. How much? 1.2,000 viewers right now. No or yes? No. no. They're all watching. They're all invested in watching to figure out what it is. The pocket knife? I hope not. It's golden birthday. Next year. Oh, God. Yep. And it went to. What is it? Too. Was it worth it now? <laughs> he just he got more he got money though too. He had to open the gift to get to never trust No, it's not a dollar. It looks like fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, it's supposed to be fourteen for your fourteenth birthday, but they gave you an extra dollar for your birthday. Yeah, for your hard work. Yeah. David, say hi to the camera. Uh, hi. <laughs> Don't worry, Dwayne's not excited. Oh, I wasn't gonna be a phone. I knew that. One to grow on exactly. I know we always. <laughs> you want me to turn it off now? So you seen we sped it, sped it up. You seen PD having to open the gift just to be deodorant. Yeah, and then um, he did get fifteen dollars though. So that was a lot of fun for him to yeah, unwrap that. Anyway, say it's bye. A, bye, honey. For this, bye. This week it's a, um, in the life a graduation party.